Representatives from the Biden-Harris campaign here in Miami today, along with some other big-name Democrats, all talking about MAGA extremism ahead of tomorrow's third GOP presidential primary debate. And Local 10's Glenna Milberg is live with what their message is to voters here in South Florida. Glenna. That message is something you just said, Christy. We're noticing that that phrase MAGA extremism, that sounds like it's going to be the talking point for Democrats in Florida and nationally going forward in this campaign. Yes, attaching it to former President Trump, but now also trying to attach it to all the other GOP candidates. And they brought that message right here to Miami in advance of the debate here tomorrow night. This is a troubling blueprint that will be on display tomorrow night here in Miami. A preemptive strike from Florida Democrats on Republican debate eve. Former President Donald Trump is the target. Governor Ron DeSantis is Florida, ground zero. Donald Trump is the one who has paved the way for the extremism that drives today's Republican Party. A clear sign from the Biden camp, they believe Trump is already and again the one to beat, despite or for some maybe because of criminal charges, allegations of business fraud and conspiring to steal an election. It includes the largest investment in passenger rail. President Biden and the former President Trump have been polling within each other's margins since April. Look at the end of this graph. Trump ahead for the last month. His team today dismissed those numbers as too soon to be predictive. Do you not believe the polls or is there something driving the polls now that might not be around in a year? I think from our vantage point right now, this is just a snapshot in time. A snapshot in this time of GOP debate has the five Republicans who will be on stage Wednesday looking to stand apart from each other as Trump solos his own event in Hialeah at the same time. This team knows their work is to sell a clear difference of a Biden-Harris re-election. We know the president's policies are extremely popular, and it's our job to ensure that we're getting out and really communicating that message. Yeah, you may remember a few weeks ago, the Biden administration, in coordinating with the Democratic National Committee, launched $7 million worth of campaign ads nationally. And they were all very positive about the president and his accomplishments. And there were some wondering whether President Biden should be taking former President Trump on already much more harshly. Well, it certainly sounds like his people in Florida are starting to do that right now. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Miami tonight, Local 10 News. And it's just beginning all this excitement for the election.